Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Richard Odongo and I come from Kenya in East Africa. Uh, are you a student here? Yes, I am a student. I am studying um, mathematics and computer sciences. Yes. Are you a master? Levels. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when did you come to China and how long have you been here? I came to China in the year 2018 and um, I've been here for about uh, one and one year and two months. Yes. So are there any happy things for your life in China? What are the happiest things you have here? Share it with us. Wow, well, that's a very profound question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I lost a parcel on my way to China from the Ethiopian Airlines and um, in that parcel uh, there was some money so I came without money and uh, I you was must be very upset. Mm, yes, yes. But I was very surprised at the treatment that I received from my department, the mathematics and computer sciences and also from the International Education College, uh, the staff Professor Hu and uh, Alicia took good care of me. They made sure that I had all the provisions that I needed until I received my first stipend. That really impacted me in a major way and I cannot forget that. And um, another thing that also made me happy is uh, when I visited my department for the first time, Professor Hu, he made sure that I received a computer. Um, to enable me to do my programming because I explained to her that I love to do programming and uh, to study software and she made sure that I received uh, brand new facilities to enable me do my research. And uh, also the International Educational College organized a trip sometime and uh, uh, what kind of trip is that? It was like a field excursion. We went mountain climbing. Wow. It was fantastic. It was exhausting. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fantastic. It was a breath of fresh air. And uh, during this uh, trip, uh, the general secretary of the International Education College uh, shared with me pictures of his family, his son, uh, his daughter-in-law. And uh, I also shared with him uh, the pictures of the sun, and uh, it was a profound moment. It was uh, a mixture of feelings, deep positive feelings. Yes. So I'm very happy that you can share all this with us. Mm -hmm. um, so during your study and life here, do you have any difficulties? Have you had any troubles? The only difficulty that I've experienced is just the language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The language, uh, it takes me time to learn new characters, how to write, how to read. And, uh, because I'm used to, you know, the English language because I was born, bred in English society. And uh, now in Chinese society, you have to relearn something new. And it takes me quite some time. But it's a good experience, I think. Yeah, because it's something new for me, and I like new things, yes. So, what is your gradu graduation time? When are you going to graduate? In about six months, in about seven months, I'll, I'll graduate, yes. Yeah, so it will be very soon. Very soon, that is uh, next year, mm -hmm. yes. So do you have any further plans after your graduation? I do. I hope to study uh, more software because uh, I feel that uh, uh, the period that I have uh, done my research on, uh, in, in software is still little so I want to extend it further because uh, I want to dig deeper into my field of study and uh, share with others the knowledge that I've discovered yes. and uh, if the opportunity arises, I can also work in China or elsewhere in the world. Yes, with my skills. Yes. And I really 
hope all of your dreams will come true. I hope so too. <laughs> nice meeting you, Richard. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.